6th General Naval Spike NLOS, perfect for the Philippine Navy's upcoming six offshore patrol vessels from South Korea. New Naval Spike NLOS can turn any OPV patrol boat into a highly effective combat vessel with expanded compatibility. The 6th generation Spike NLOS missile delivers a number of groundbreaking capabilities that assure overmatch in today's most complex environments. Spike NLOS is part of the Spike ATGM family of multi-purpose, multi-platform, precision-guided O missiles deployed by 39 countries around the world for air, ground and naval forces. This advanced naval missile system, for ranges up to 32 kilometers, offers the unique advantage of hitting non-line-of-sight NLOS targets with pinpoint accuracy. The missile enables real-time tactical intelligence gathering and the ability to switch between targets during missile flight, as well as control of aborting mission, if necessary. This advanced naval missile system is comprised of a lightweight, compact and stabilized turret with four missiles on the mount, together with a fire control system for ranges up to 10 kilometers with either penetration blast fragmentation PBF, or fragmentation warheads that can be operated in a fire and forget or fire and update mode with pinpoint kill accuracy. Spiker is installed on a mount compatible with a variety of platforms, ranging from rigid hull inflated boats, RHIBs, to larger boats and ships. Rafael 6th General Naval Spike NLOS missile system can be fit to the upcoming six offshore patrol vessels from South Korea if the Philippine Navy wants it. It will be in commonality with the PN Shaldag MKV missile boat since it will also carry the Naval Spike NLOS missiles. The Philippine Navy's Naval Spike NLOS missiles and Typhoon MLS NLOS missile launches will be delivered in November 2023 that will be installed to the Shaldag MKV missile boats. The first offshore patrol vessel, out of six, of the Philippine Navy will arrive in 2025, alongside with the first guided missile corvette. The Philippine Navy should consider this missile system, since it's cheap but very capable, if they want to arm the six OPVs with anti-ship missiles.